Hi, my name is David, and in this video I'm going to show you how to access the online resources that are available to you through the library services. Specifically, I'm going to access the SAI Global website for information on Australian standards. Unless I'd paid for this service, I wouldn't otherwise be able to access it. This is what's great about being a student at GCIT and being able to access these resources. So you'll need to be a student and have your student ID card or borrow a card and a password to be able to do this yourself. So first we'll need to start up the Internet Browser. I've got Internet Explorer 8 here. There's a couple of different ways of getting to the library site. This time I'm going to type in the address libguides.gcit.edu.au and I might just maximize this window so I can see everything that's going on. So from here we need to find the area of study that I'm involved in so I can see building, design and technology and I'm going to click on that. A new window opens up and it's got lots of information including databases which we're looking for today. So we need to click on online resources. From here I need to type in my borrower ID and the password and you'll need to use your own when you're logging in. And I'm going to click on login. This time I'm going to say no because I'm on a shared computer. So once you've logged in you'll need to find your area of study again. So I'm going to click on building design and technology. So another new window appears, this time with links to different online databases that we can get into. So I'm going to maximize this window and there I can see SAI Global Australian Standards. That's what I'm looking for. So now I'm actually on the SAI Global website and I'm logged in ready to use the service. So I'm going to type in AS3660, one of the Australian standards that I need. Once I click on the search button A list of search results appear. So I can click on the product detail here or the product title to get the details or I can click on view document. When I click on view document I should be prompted to either open or save the file and I'm going to click on open document and then open again. Now I can view that document and read the information that I need, find out what's required. When I'm finished with that standard I can click on the new search button and I should be returned to the main SAI Global page where I can now search for another standard or document. So that's how you access the online resources through the library services. The first couple of times it might seem like a long process but these resources are very expensive and are tightly controlled so we do need to go through this process. Starting with the LibGuide page, you can find your area of study, log in using your library borrower details, and then access the online resource to find what you need. And of course, the library staff are always happy to help out and will respond to your emails or you can visit them on campus.